Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to add a player to our tile map. The player should be able to move through the dungeon and navigate through the rooms. So let's start by creating the player prefab. First, we are going to use this player sprite here in front of the sprites folder. So again, you need to change the pixels per unit to 30. I have already done this. And we need to change the sprite mode to multiple and slice it into two sprites. We are only going to use one of them, but you need to slice otherwise you have, you're going to have two players walking on the game. So now we can select the first one here, drag and drop it to the, to the scene, change the name to player, and this will be our player, player prefab. Now we need, we need to add the, the components of it. First, let's add a box collider to D and a rigid body to D because we want to move the player. We don't want the player to rotate when colliding with things. So here in the rigid body, we are going to open the constraints and select check freeze rotation on Z. So this way it won't rotate in the Z axis when colliding with anything. Also, we need to reduce the size of the, the collider. So this green rectangle here is the collider. And we want the box to be a little bit smaller than the, the player. For example, 0 0.7. This way, we can make the player walk on this space of the, uh, the exit. Otherwise, it would be very hard to make the player fit here because the, the box would be exactly the same size of this space. Finally, we are going to assign the player tag to the, the player object because we are going to use this tag later to identify the collisions between the door and the player. And in the end, we're going to create a prefabs folder and drag and drop the player here to create its prefab. So now it is officially a prefab. Since this is a top view game, we are moving, we are seeing the game from the top. We don't want any gravity force because we don't want the player to fall in the screen like this when you start playing. So we need to disable the gravity. We do this here in the edit, project settings, physics 2D. And then here we have gravity X and gravity Y. We are going to change gravity Y to zero. This way the player won't fall because there isn't any gravity. And now let's create a script to move the player. So I'm going to create a new folder here called scripts and let's add a new C sharp script called player movement and let's open it. So here we have the player movement script. This script will need a serialized field representing the speed of the player. So we are going to set a speed for the player. And the only method we need is the fixed update, which we're going to use to update the, the player velocity. The way we do this is by getting the horizontal and vertical input axis. So first the horizontal, and then we'll do the same for the vertical. And then we access the rigid body 2D, setting its velocity to be a new vector 2. Where the x velocity is the value of the horizontal input multiplied by the speed, and the y is the vertical input multiplied by the speed. And that's it. We just need this for the player movement. To test it, we need to add the player movement here in the player prefab and set a speed here, for example, 5. Now let's try playing and see if it's working. So here we have the player and we can move it with the arrow keys in the keyboard. So it's working. And the player is colliding with the walls, as you can see. Also, 
we should be able to move the player here on the door because we reduce the the box collider otherwise it would be very hard to make the player fit on this space here and that's it for this lesson in the next one we are going to add the door prefab to our demo the door prefab will be here and be responsible to allow the player to leave the room.